Okay, Zen Master, Yedi, Magnussen wanted to look at a budget setup. No, let's skip that. But uh, look at the meditation videos that we did and leave some Yedi comments and Star Wars comments if you like. If you don't know me yet, my name is Christoph and today we wanted to talk about a budget setup for video conferences because that was a question you guys had. If you're new to this channel, we talk about technology and communication and how between these two worlds, technology and communication, we can improve things with good ideas and setups and gadgets. Good. So what is the one most important thing for a video, a movie or a video conference? Thank you. Finally, someone here. Yes, it's the sound. It's not the image, it's the sound. Make the test. Jan just made the idea, came up with the idea. Watch a trailer, just the sound without the image, and then watch a trailer, just the image without the sound. Sound is the most important thing, the voice. So if you have, let's say, 100 bucks to invest because your boss sent you home and you have to work from home now, then you should rather invest in a good mic than in a good webcam or lighting or anything. So take the mic first, full stop. This is the video we can edit here now. No. Um, so we experimented on different um, setups for our premium meeting setup, which Felix came up with. And Felix then tested several, <laughs> several different um, several different setups and as I said usually you can go with a hundred euro mic that is fine already. So if you say well I just have my QuickTime, I just have my FaceTime camera built in my Mac or whatever camera comes with it or webcam, you take it and you like take any natural light you have for example here I go close to the window I'm standing in front of the window here so I put it this way and then I get some natural light which is decent and then you have the phone, uh, the, 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 the mic here, so you have a decent audio quality, then this is a okay image. If we switch to the built-in mic, then you hear already how bad the sound becomes and then this is really, really difficult. Especially for a video conference where people sit in, you cannot hear them properly. So if you want to lead in a video conference, use a proper mic. Don't mute it, leave it on. Don't raise the hand, talk like in a normal meeting, be nice, but like, lead it and you will lead it by voice so this is much more important and that's the difference between the two but this video would of course not be a video from our channel if we don't come up with a new idea because we tested a new mic because the mics that we had that you like plug in they're quite big we had some road options i mean there's the road usb what's it called mini mt usb um, which has USB-C now, so you can just plug it in, you're good to go. Ours is a bit bigger, the one that we have. It's not for carrying around. But then, we came up with this option here. This is the Shure MV88 Plus. Super small. This is really small. Comes with several cables, one of them plugs into your phone. Felix recommended it, I think. Felix, you use it at home, right? So if, let's switch between this mic, then we have this mic here. This is not the video camera app from the iPhone, which is also pretty good. Especially like a phone, you should always like keep it close to the mouth and it's good, but for a video conference, most of the people use the, the AirPods. But if we want to have a decent um, audio track, we now use this thing here and have some proper sound. And you can do a lot of stuff in the app. Jan, you were asking, this is what you can do here. Have you seen it? So you can go to the different options. If we do that now, Bibliotheque, great. I can change, mm -hmm. not during, yeah, the characteristic. So you can go here and change how it's recording. Like this, or raw middle. 
So this is pretty good. And I was recording podcast uh, advertisement with this thing yesterday, which is pretty cool. And this is really travel, travel format. So I can now hear my own voice, which is important to record a podcast, for example. Of course, I usually have it on the desk, not uh, then on the laptop itself. But joining a, a Google Meet, now I do a quick time, now we record it again and change the mic to sure mic which should make sure this is a good audio quality in the quicktime file compared to the built-in mic from the macbook which is a totally different story so this thing here is worth i think it's 200 so it's worth every euro to invest especially because it's so small and you can even take an extension cable, you can put it on a hot shoe and directly on the camera, you would have a much better audio quality. I mean, so much happened with mics in the last years. It's insane, insane. Like what you can do in the app here and the details you get out of it, it's insane. So to make it short, if you want to invest to like pimp your setup that you have at home, invest in a mic. If 200 is too much, invest 40 bucks for a decent mic, a better mic, not a headphone. With these headphones, you always look like in a call center. So it's not nice to be with one of these things in a video conference. So invest in the mic, have a decent camera, but what, whatever you have built in is fine and good enough with a little bit of light around it and then a good mic, then you will see and feel and especially hear the difference. Thanks for watching and leave another comment like these ones. One last thing. If you have a good mic, don't use any audio filters from Zoom or Google or Microsoft Teams. Use the plain audio. And no matter if you have a good camera or not, just don't use any of these artificial backgrounds regarding the video filter. Just don't. They're just not nice. It's nice to see who you are and who you're are at home. We don't want that because they cut off ears and that's it. That was just the last thing.